By the way, uh, MVP, he tweeted out today that Baron Corbin is not in the Hurt Business. We'll see. Mm. I mean, maybe he actually isn't. I mean, I got that impression because when he helped Bobby Lashley lay everybody out, him and Bobby Lashley celebrated, and MVP loudly on commentary said, this is the Hurt Business. What that says to me is, that is the Hurt Business. Now he's saying that that's not what that meant. But, I mean, it could be that they want you to think that he's not in the Hurt Business. So at WrestleMania, you know, the the stipulation was that the other two Hurt Business blokes that had been kicked out, they couldn't interfere but Baron Corbin wasn't part of that, so now he can interfere. So we've set up a way that we can have interference in that main event now. I can't wait for that. You know what I really wanted in the build to Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre was the promise of interference. That's what really got me excited about this <laughs> WrestleMania match here. Uh, well, you got to save that for cage matches. And then we have Raw. That's what Dave wrote about Raw. Fell to 1.7 million viewers, the lowest since football season ended. However, it did strong, 0.56 in 18 to 49 and 0.35 in 18 to 34. Uh, it went head to head with some NCAA basketball. I blame Edge. And uh, Raw was eighth on cable for total viewers, trailing six new shows, women's NCAA basketball tournament on ESPN. Younger audience was late arriving, first to third hour changes. Saw women 18 to 49 up 6%, men 18 to 49 up 13%, teenage girls up 38%, teenage boys up 11%, over 50 dropped. As compared to last week, audience overall down 6%, but 18 to 49 was up 6%, 18 to 34 was up 40%. So anyway, there's all these numbers here, which I guess uh, Dave is telling me that these this is a good number. Even though I see 1.73 million, 1.7 million, and 1.67 million for a show two weeks before WrestleMania... Which, quite frankly, does not sound good to me, but there you go. Because it's not. <laughs> well, I mean, Seriously. those demos are up. And demos I mean, are important, but, like, no one's watching this show right now. What's 6% of that number? I mean, I'm not saying it's, like, no people or anything like that, but, like, you know, well, things are looking better. They're 6% up. Not when they were 10% down last week. And, you know, it just, I, I don't know. It, it's... 1.7 million for this time of year stinks. This build, though, towards WrestleMania, even complaining about Monday show being extra bad, you know, because we're really supposed to be putting on the rocket jets now to, to be ready for WrestleMania. This whole thing has been a mess, you know, from day one. And it's, you can keep blaming everything else, and I'm sure that they are, you know, it's the COVID, it's this, it's that. No, it's unfortunately your product. Bottom line, that, that's the way it goes. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.